A few minutes to 7 p.m. for a curfew, residents in Namungona started rushing up to ensure that they are indoors. The mood would clearly show that people were aware of the directives, including those riding on motorcycles. Some residents, however, could not believe that they were to occupy their houses as early as 7 p.m. and resorted to flooding the roadside. As it darkened, law enforcers started their operation. During the operation, the bold ones could face the security, whereas some would take off. What are you doing here? Can you enter? What was not clear henceforth is that whether one was required to be indoors or could even still remain outside, just like this lady who was forced to close her door. The tricky aspect, however, is that people were expected to be under curfew at 7 p.m. 31st March, yet places of work like saloons, lodges, and garages were to close at midnight 1st April, as per the president's directive. In my findings, movements continued as people trekked from their places of work to home for those whose businesses were to close at midnight. Those with identification would be excused and left to continue with their journey. Some people were ignorant of the presidential directives and we also came across those who were drunk. Starting with the 31st of March 2020, at 1900 hours, which means Samoja Yawosiku, there will be a curfew throughout the whole of Uganda. What name is Uganda? For the first time in the history of this country, government declared a 12-hour curfew across the country for 14 days as a result of a disease outbreak, not just any outbreak but a pandemic. That is the situation in Namungona as the UPDF officers try to ensure that the public adheres to the directive that was issued by the head of state. The head of state directed that at 7 p.m., effective 31st March 2020, people should be in their homes or in their houses by 7. But in the first and second day, this has not been respected. And of course, that's why we are seeing the UPDF officers ensuring that this rule and measure is adhered to. Of course, it's not for the bad of the population. It is to save us, to ensure that the spread of the COVID-19 is minimized. My name is Ivan Kahwa, and I am reporting from Namungona in Kampala.